All right, everyone, welcome, welcome. Today, I have a very special, special guest. I have Jasmine, one of our students in our family. Jasmine, how are you doing? I am fine. I am uh, fine waiting for this conversation. Good, good. I'm excited as well. Now, Jasmine, I look forward to these conversations because they give me an opportunity to get to know our family members more. So, Jasmine, what I'd like you to do, please, can you introduce yourself? Tell us more about yourself, where you're from, what are your hobbies, things about you. Uh, I am Jasmine. I am from Venezuela, Caracas. Mm -hmm. uh, my hobbies are doing exercise. I used to run uh, for so many years, but right now I am doing yoga or, or uh, exercise, dumbbells, hit, whatever. Uh -huh. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. So you mentioned you do hit. So you know really about exercising because high intensity training, interval training, that's good. So tell me, were you an athlete when you were younger? Uh, I used to do a lot of exercise. I began when I was a little kid uh, uh, doing uh, swimming. Uh huh. And then uh, uh, for many years, I when I was in high school, I practiced fencing. Yes, I know fencing. Yeah. Yes. Uh huh. <laughs> Amazing. And then, when I was at the university, I practiced uh, rugby for five years. Amazing. You were an amazing athlete. Rugby, <laughs> fencing, swimming. I love it. I love it. I also loved sports, so I was an athlete too growing up. Yes, and then when I graduated, I started to run. Yeah. And I run for 20 years. Wow. Uh, and... I like it, but I don't run anymore because I I have an injury in the hips, mm -hmm. a, a bursitis. So oh, I I have to do another sports. Other sports, yeah. Yes, so I do oh, wow. yoga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, good, but we know for a fact that you are a very athletic woman. You're in shape. That is great. I love it. I love it. Now, let me ask you this question then, because you seem to have been focused on sports and exercising and taking care of your body for so many years. How did English come into the picture? Why did you decide to start studying English? Where did that interest start? Uh, because, no, I, I, well, I started studying English uh, many years ago, uh, uh -huh. but I focus on maybe grammar, reading, mm -hmm. and, and not in speaking. So right now I need to uh, improve uh, my my speaking abilities because at, at work I need it for, for work and, and it's necessary for uh, for life in general. Yeah. So it seems like you did study it in school, but more recently you started to get more serious about it. Is that right? Yeah. 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 Yes, because uh, always, uh, for example, I, I I read book in English and I can understand the the, uh, for example, you talking or or movies or 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 the series, but but yeah. uh, when I going to speak, I get stuck and and then I feel nervous and and I prefer to. Be quiet. Ah, I understand. Well, don't worry. That is changing. <laughs> I'm seeing you, of course, speaking more in our group. So that's good. That's good. All right. So then you mentioned that your goal now is to speak English, right? You want to be able to have conversations and be comfortable in those conversations. You're able to understand well and read well. So right now at this point in time, what is the hardest thing for you about studying English? Is it just the speaking part, or is there another difficult or a challenge you're experiencing right now? Uh, right now, uh, the speaking part, mm. uh, writing is 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 easier for me. Mm -hmm. I I is is easier than speak. Uh huh. But the 
speaking is is the hard part yeah yes. yeah the speaking part is the hard part yes. so then if the speaking is the hard part tell me is it when you start speaking in english do you feel like your brain suddenly goes white <laughs> and yes, nothing yes ah. I, I forgot all the words instead <laughs> i i uh, know uh, uh, some vocabulary yeah. when i start to speak in i forgot all the words and and all the grammar that i have learned and and i get stuck <laughs> i got you i got you yeah i prefer happen. to end the conversation <laughs> bye 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 thank you bye bye thank you well please jasmine don't don't say bye bye to me stay with me <laughs> yes i totally understand when i was studying korean i understand how you feel now i felt that same way sometimes so then okay you said right now you're you're wanting to improve your speaking skills right but sometimes in conversations you want to say bye bye because it's a little challenging right so then what do you enjoy the most because you seem happy and you're still with our family what do you enjoy most then what is keeping you for example in the pathway of studying and learning english uh, i think because it's, uh, right now i am learning uh, different things that in a normal way of study for mm -hmm. example always when when you register in a course you uh, uh, starting study only grammar, 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 and, yeah. and then the, uh, it's it's like uh, repetitive and and, and yes. maybe boring. But uh, right now, I consider that that uh, I am learning uh, different things Good. that I haven't learned before. Good. Good. I'm I'm very happy to hear that. So, you know, as your teacher, I've mentioned this to you many times that I don't teach grammar for that reason. Grammar is extremely important, but there are so yes. many other good programs that focus on grammar. When you all come to the academy, I want you all to learn in a different way. So I'm glad that you're enjoying that. Now, tell us again, I'm your teacher, but for those listening and watching, which program are you in, Jasmine? Are you in the daily English lesson membership, like every day there's a lesson, or are you in the Speak English Like a Native program? No, I am in the 365 English uh, learning days. So Good. Every day you have a lesson daily? Every day, yes. Oh, good, good. Okay. So let me ask you this. Why did you choose that program? You said most of the other programs you've been a part of were just about grammar, grammar, grammar. What? caught your attention hey maybe i'll take tiff's class what made you decide to join it because i felt identify when when you uh, tell in a youtube class mm. that uh, that uh, if if you know uh, english and and you have an intermediate level but you can't speak and you get stuck and uh, i i, I uh, immediately i felt uh, identify that's me <laughs> Ah, yes. <laughs> well, good. I'm glad. So how long have you been with our family? How long have you been with us? Uh, since uh, uh, last uh, December, five months. Nice. Very good. Very good. And I'm glad that you stayed and you can see progress. You're having a full conversation with me and you haven't gone anywhere. You're able to understand. You're able to express yourself. That's good. That's really I, I mm. didn't tell you bye bye. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I thought about that. I said Jasmine didn't say bye bye. She's staying. <laughs> okay, so then tell me, Jasmine. Again, you haven't left. You said other programs sometimes they're just boring. They're good programs, but they're a little bit boring, right? So, what have you enjoyed the most? What have you enjoyed the most about being a part of our family? Uh, uh, well, uh, study every day and and to form or or to or get the discipline to to study at least uh, thirty yes. minutes, twenty minutes every day. Yes. And learn uh, something different. Yes. In the in every lesson. 
I'm glad. I'm glad. You said a key word every day, right? The consistency. That's so important. And it does help you get to the next level. So good. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. So what's your current studying routine? Do you like studying in the morning, in the afternoon or the evening? You have a preference? In the morning, in the morning after I uh, do exercise. Yeah, exercise. And uh -huh. I, I, I breakfast and then I study, uh, uh, start study because then when I... <clears throat> uh, oh, I think it froze a little bit, but I think you're coming back. Don't worry. I think she's coming back in a moment. There was a little bit of a break in the connection. But I like, as she's kind of coming back, I like Jasmine, how Jasmine was saying that the consistency is really what has helped so much as she's been studying English. So let's give her an opportunity to actually say the rest of her response. All right, okay, go for nice. it, Jasmine, go for it. Tell us a little bit more one more time about your morning routine. My morning routine, uh, I take my kids uh, to the school then i start uh, to uh, starting to to doing exercise uh-huh uh-huh and then uh, after breakfast i start uh, studying english uh, uh, my my classes here in at the academy nice nice and then after studying i start working nice nice so now that you have that routine, right? Every morning you get your exercise in, you take care of your kids, you study, and then you work. How has your life changed after speaking English? Now that you're able to express yourself, you're not nervous. How has your life changed? Well, I, I started to feel uh, more confident. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, in, in, in these English conversations, yeah i have uh, participated in like in three live uh, classes uh, with you or with the other uh, students nice and yes i i think that i feel more confident uh not not so much uh, <laughs> no you look but, confident but, though you look confident i am <laughs> I think that's good. You know, Jasmine, honestly, the main thing that I want to do, of course, I want to help you all speak English, but I want you all to feel confident in yourselves because that means even when I'm not around, you'll feel confident enough to speak English. So that's perfect. I'm glad that you're feeling confident in yourself. That's really good. It makes yes, a big yes. difference. Yeah. Well, what my, do you my, go ahead? Uh -huh. my, my little kid the, the other day asked me, uh, Man, you studied every day. Yes, yes, I studied every day English. And when I grow up, I have to study this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I, I told him, if you learn is, uh, right now, being a kid, uh, you don't have to study. <laughs> Then true. Later. It's true. <laughs> it's very true. It's very true. So then, what what are you enjoying the most about being a part of our family in the academy? What do you enjoy the most? Uh, to know people from everywhere. Yeah. Yes, because uh, in the chat rooms, I have known people from Egypt. Uh huh. Uh, from. Africa, Morocco, mm -hmm. uh, countries that are very far and and in some that uh, maybe someday I would like to visit, for example, I would like to visit Egypt yeah, and, and, and to see the pyramids and, and those uh, ancient uh, sites that they have. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Yeah, a lot of culture exchange. I love it. I love it. And, and a um, lot of accents. Yes. Different accents from from uh, every people. Yes, that's good. Yes, your, your ear gets trained to understand more than just the American accent. That's good. Exactly. So tell us again, which program are you in? Are you in the daily English lessons again or the Speak English Like a Native? 
I am in the daily English uh, lessons. Yeah. Lessons, yes. And I know you mentioned that before as well. So I just want those watching and listening to realize that even with the daily English lessons membership program, they're able to interact with other people, like you mentioned, from around the world. And it's really, really beneficial. So good, good. Getting you to that advanced level. I love it. All right. So then after after I oh. uh, ended this this course, I'm going to take to take the the uh, speak English like a native, you know? Oh uh, yeah, we're ready for you. We want you to come. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. So tell me this: What is your dream, Jasmine, regarding English? What's your dream? My dream is to. To communicate uh, uh, what I have to tell others and and mm. don't feel uh, yes a stock or a shame or or yeah try to uh, to speak with with uh, with people when I have to. That's good. Yeah, yeah. Wanting to be able to express yourself at any time. That's exactly. good. So then what do you think then, Jasmine, is the most important thing for an English learner to remember? In your opinion, you're an English learner, but what do you think is the most important thing for an English learner to remember? In my opinion, I think that the most important thing is uh, maybe to, to be consistent and, mm -hmm. and don't feel... Uh, like maybe uh, depressed or 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 mm. or feel even if you feel like you are not learning nothing or or yeah. not doing any po progress yeah uh, don't uh, don't give up yeah i like that but, don't give up and keep moving forward that consistency and keep, is key. And keep going yes i love it i love it well jasmine now I have to give you the opportunity to ask me any question you have. Do you have any questions for me? Anything you're curious about? Anything you want to know? Yes. I, uh, for example, you mentioned that you worked uh, at NASA. Yes. And maybe that, uh, for example, uh, for me, uh, when I was a kid, I, I wanted to be an astronaut. Oh, really? Uh -huh. <laughs> How is the experience uh, that you, uh, for you to to have work at, at NASA, for example, how, how was that experience? It was great. I honestly had the opportunity to work with some amazing people, Jasmine. I still remember my boss. It's almost been 20 years. It'll be 20 years soon, but his name was John Sutterth. He was a great boss, very mild mannered, very relaxed but very good boss. Like he really cared about his employees and he led really good meetings with very clear uh, directives telling us what we needed to do for the month. So I had many other coworkers, man, they were just really great people and extremely talented. We worked, I worked with some people, one guy I worked with because I was a web designer. So we were in the design department and one of my coworkers used to work for Disney. Like that's how good he was. So he was extremely talented and he worked with some of the programs for kids, like NASA kids on the website. So he would do some really amazing things on the computers. And I had another coworker that was extremely talented with like coding, like computer on the computer. Uh -huh, yes. So it was really a great experience. Honestly, Jasmine, it was, our department wasn't stressful. Everyone worked hard but everyone liked everyone. So we all got along really well. Um, and also we got an opportunity. So NASA is always encouraging its people to learn more. So if I wanted to take a class that would help me do better, like create a better website immediately, sure, go. They'd pay for it immediately. So um, they really wanted their employees to keep learning. And I think that's a great environment. I think Excellent. Apple is the yeah. same way. Yeah. like keep challenging yourself, keep learning more. So I learned a lot while I was there. It was a great experience. Great question, great Excellent question. Question. Yeah. And, 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 and was a 
big change to to work there and then uh, started uh, your your own uh, business no yes so it's interesting so very different right um because again like i am my own boss now and there i had a different boss and when i worked at nasa i had the early morning schedule i'm an early bird so i had the 7 a.m to 3 p.m schedule the interesting thing is when you work for someone else when you leave you're done so 3 p.m. Exactly. I was done. I didn't have anything else to do with my life. When you own your own business, even if you stop working, you really don't stop working. So I'm always thinking about you all. Hey, what what can I do to make the program better? What can I do to help them understand this? Or if I'm speaking with friends and a new word comes up, ah, I have to teach my students that word. Or ah, I need to explain this idiom. So now I feel like it's more a part of my life. Whereas NASA was just a job and done. Yeah, exactly. Now it's like the Academy and our family members and I'm happy. It's not stressful at all. I really, I really am happy uh, being your teacher. I really love it. So yeah. Any other questions? Right. Those were the good questions. <laughs> yeah, those were good. Those were good. I think you yeah. all know a lot about me already because of the story times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well jasmine i did enjoy this conversation thank you so much for spending time with me today i really enjoyed too yes oh, it was a, a great time and i uh, didn't feel nervous you make me good. feel comfortable good yeah. i'm glad and you didn't say bye bye to me so i'm very happy thank no, you so no, much no. Only <laughs> <laughs> my internet connection <laughs> Uh, uh, it, it went out it went out when went out but but uh, when when somebody uh, tried to uh, I, I forgot the word but uh, try uh, to log on or connect yes <laughs> i got you yeah well good i'm glad we were able to bring you back and thank you so much jasmine keep working hard keep being consistent and i can't wait for you to continue going up to the higher level and we'll see you again and speak English like a native. We'll be looking forward to seeing you in that group too. Perfect, perfect. I'm going uh, to to finish this, this course. When yes. I, I am like uh, in the middle. Yes. And then I'm going to take the next one. Perfect, perfect. Well, Jasmine, thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, hon. Thank you, bye, you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.